Yo, what's up guys? You boy Tiberius Media here back with another video and today is going to be a banger because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build the most amazing chatbot that you can provide or automation to clients in any niche. And I'm also going to leave this template in the description below for free. Today we're going to be using our new platform Vectorshift.ai. I want you guys to go and check them out. Honestly, they're my favorite platform. Better than Stack, excuse me, better than Stack AI and they're really cheap. Only 25 bucks a month for the nice plan and then the better plan. Right here is $100, $105 a month, 125 excuse me. But I have a discount code since I do, am, I pretty much know the owner of this company, so he's providing 20% discount, which is crazy, and the code is Tavares Media. So yeah, you guys wanna hop on this because I'm using it. This is what we're gonna be using to build the platform. So let's go straight here. Pretty much what we're gonna do is just head straight to the pipelines. So we're gonna go create a new pipeline. Pretty much the pipeline is kind of just the entire flow chart of where you build the bot on and then you go ahead and transfer it to the chatbot section. So we're gonna just start off with a create from pipeline from scratch and we'll just build out our bot for any kind of company. So we'll go and decide that. Sorry if it's a little loud out there, back in Miami, so you know how it is. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our first thing, which is the input and the output, same thing as Stack AI. Input is pretty much where the user inputs their message, output is where the bot responds. Next thing, we're gonna go to our LLM, grab OpenAI, right? We're gonna go ahead and use GPT-4 Turbo. In fact, we'll use GPT-4 Turbo Preview, it's the best one. What we're gonna do is go into system and we're gonna describe what the system needs to do. And also the same thing for the prompt. We're gonna create three variables to, excuse me. This is why I like them because again, you have the variables. So we'll create another one and then create another one. This is gonna be our knowledge basis, excuse me. Put it down here. Now we're gonna do is name our variables. First, we need to go to chat, data collector, and chat memory. We're gonna create a lead qualification slash uh, collection bot. So this is gonna be the where they collect all the data, such as the name, email, and such forth. And this is gonna be the chat memory where the bot understands what's going on and can recall a memory. So let's go ahead and add our first variable, which is gonna just call it memory. Then we're going to do contents, which is like the name, data collector. And then we're also going to do that last, this last variable. So what we'll do is we drag our data collector to the contents. Then we drag this up here, drag the chat memory to our memory variable. All right, you have token buffer, full, we added everything. You can choose a memory type. Next you want to do is add some examples. So we're going to say, I want you to collect the name, email, and let's say name, email, and phone number. So we'll do name, uh, name of person, and then example, Brandon. Same thing for the email, email, email of person, example, Brandon at gmail.com. And then again, we'll do Oops, sorry about that. We'll do a phone number. Once again, we'll just do phone number of person, and then we'll just type in a random number. All right, that's about right. Perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create our system, which is gonna be a little bit long. So what we're gonna do is your goal is to collect personal information such as the name will refer to as contents, this variable right here. So convert to variable such as name and store it into the contents there, the, into contents variable. Your goal is to convince and qualify the potential lead into booking a fighting, let's say, let's say a massage, massage class, okay? Your memory, and then we also have to build out the knowledge base. So that's the next variable, knowledge. All right, so we're gonna knowledge base, knowledge right here. Knowledge, right? Make my face a little bit smaller, my big head is in the way, right? And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to knowledge, drag it here, knowledge base right there, create a knowledge base, NB, NB, 
confirm. Let's go find a massage class near me. Not now, or let's do massage booking, whatever. Book a massage, let's just find massage NV. All right, let's see, this is good. All right, bet, nice. Hopefully they provide happy endings. Do document, URL, paste that. Something went wrong, hold on guys. Huh, let me see what's going on, hold on. All right guys, so unfortunately, my computer kind of like froze and I lost the entire, the entirety of everything because uh, I didn't save the project. So that's unfortunate, but we already have a pre-made version right here and I'm just gonna reverse engineer this version and also leave this version template in the description below. So, all right, so let's look at it. So let's go and study this guys. Okay, so if you receive a name, example, name John Smith, right? So we're referring, we have to, this right here, this paragraph is so important because it, it's all about proper prompting. If you do not prompt it well enough, the bot will not work at all in the way you want it to do. So you have to prompt it very well. What I want you guys to do is take a screenshot of this or copy this format and save it as a very light, reliable prompting method so you can use this in other bots that you create on this website. So let's go through the prompting. Let's explain, let's talk about it. If you receive a name, example name, John Smith, and how can I help or has not appeared in conversation history, which conversation history is right here, the chat memory, respond with how can I help, okay? If how can I help has appeared in conversation history and you have received a name, example John Smith, answer the question based on context, and context is right here, right? Context is what you receive through the knowledge base, and we also receive it through the input, okay? So answer the question based on context. If you're not able to answer the question based on context, respond with, I am unable to answer this question. If you do not receive a name, example, if there is no name, name, then ask the user what is your name. Please check all it and do it. That's it. So let's go ahead and look into our knowledge base, which we also have to create. So let's create a new knowledge base. All right, go to confirm. Okay, knowledge base two, whatever. Add document, URL. That done loading and let it load. Give it a second while it gets all the information. Oh, it's already done. Nice. All right, now we have a knowledge base. So let's go ahead and test this bot out now. That's it, guys. This is it. This is how quick it is and easy it is to make bots on this website. This is why I love it. And we also have a really cool flow map. I really like that. That's really cool. So let's go ahead and run it and test it. So we're gonna ask, hey, I am interested in booking a massage. Let's see what it, let's see what it just says. Run. What is your name? Perfect. So ask me what my name is, so it's already doing good. So now what we're gonna do is, it's already doing good, so we're gonna save this, okay? Go to back to chat bots. Create a new chatbot. We're gonna say massage and the lead qualification. Leave. Go to pipeline configuration. Right here. There you go. It's right there. Question output done. Already done. Functionality. Now we go to our functionality. We can create how we want it to be. So we can call it massage envy chatbot. Username. Um, let's just say massage or let's just say custom let's keep it simple bot name type in here and the assistant and you can also type in a welcome message which could hey and look how it does it real time like this website's bro guys i'm impressed like honestly discount code to various media first thing in the description hop on this asap guys it's it's unheard of really right now it's not as popular as Stack AI, where Stack AI is not doing good and all these other. It's annoying. Hey, welcome to Massage MV. How can I help you? Right? Keep chat open. Styling powered by Vector Shift. Of course, you can turn that off with the uh, membership. And then you can change the colors, which is really, again, really cool. You can add an icon. So let's add the icon Massage MV. Let's just say. Let's get the logo 
inspect. Or maybe it should just work. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this logo. Inspect element. Okay. SVJ, massage envy logo. Okay. Let me see if I can grab the logo. Ah, oh, okay, so it's actually vectorized. Okay, that's why. So they have it separated into vectors, so I can't copy the logo. I can't rip it. All right, so again, we can change the color scheme. So let's say we want to change this color scheme that matches Massage Envy. So, oh wow, and it goes out the website too. Look at that, that's nice. And then we can change the text color to like white. Oh, actually, no, that's wrong. Do that back to black. I'll put white. Oh, I messed up again. I'm bugging. All right, there we go. Come on. Gotta be very careful. Nice. Input message color. All right, bro. I'm like tripping right now. Input text color. There we go. Input output text color. There we go. Nice. Boom, and it matches it. Border radius. Bro, you cannot do this kind of stuff with any other, like, and you can change the fonts? Nah, dude, that, that's insane. That's impressive. Bravo, Vector. Save, export. We also have our post call link, so we have to just deploy it. WhatsApp, SMS, nice. API call right here, so you can do an API to voice flow, whatever. Nice, Slack as well. All right, so let's go ahead and deploy it. Open chat bot and let's talk to it. And let's see the manager. We can also see the live conversations. Boom, hut, welcome to Massage Envy. How can I help you? Hey, how are you? It's gonna ask me for my name or maybe it'll respond with how are you? Oh, wow, friendly green and inquiry. What is your name? My name, my name, I'll just say Brandon. Let's see what it does next. Okay, all right, well it messed up. It messed up because we have to fix some things. Let me see why it messed up. Let's go ahead and edit. Let's go ahead and edit. All right, guys. So the problem is, is that after they ask the name, I don't even ask them what else, right? So and these variables are not even like live. So what? What? Sorry about that, guys. Women. Anyways, after that, the reason why is because these variables are not live. So let me go ahead and make them live. So let me do that right now. Variable, and then we type in the variable, which is name. Name, boom, perfect. And I already connected it to it. Okay, what is your name? After that, store the name into, we're gonna go ahead and create the next variable, which is going to be the context, right? So into, into and let's type it in context boom and already connected to it after successfully receiving the name ask how you can help them okay next thing we need to do is if how can i help okay perfect all right let's see how let's see how it runs now so let's save deploy Chatbot, and then we can go and talk to. Ah, oh, crap! Hold up. It should, it should, it should work. Let me just run here. Hello. Okay, there we go. Standard. This is. There we go. My bad. There we go. Hello. Let's see if it works now. What is your name? Brandon. Let's see if it works. Nice. It worked. And it stored the boom. I'll put successfully, node ran successfully, it stored it in there. Perfect, guys. So it stored it in here. How can I help? Tell me. And then after that, we have to add the last thing, which is ask them how you can help. Once they respond, use ca the the context, right? Context is knowledge base, conversation history. No. Okay, hold on. Context, context. No, context. Yeah. Question. What about our knowledge base? Ah, okay. That's why. So that, I messed it up. This is context. We have to put this into name. 
this is where it, what name is. Okay, use 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 context to respond to all of the users' questions. Boom. Save. Now it should work. Run. Let's go ahead and clear the chat. Do it again. Hello. Should ask us for our name first. And guys, this is just this is just the power right here. Brandon. How can I help? Tell me about massage and now let's see if this works. There you go, guys. Boom. Right then and there, and it's done. That's it, guys. Just like that, you just built yourself a lead qualification and lead qualifier bot, just like that. Obviously, the last thing you need to do is add capture email and capture phone number. It gets stored into the data collector, and then the businesses can collect that information and call the clients, just like that. And all you have to do is change this to however you want to, whether it's an e-commerce business, an MMA gym, it doesn't matter, guys. I'll leave the template for this in the description below and I'll also leave the discount code so you guys can sign up and start using this platform for even a cheaper price. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you all and peace out guys. See you later.